Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Prime Video's The Ring of Power is the most expensive TV show ever made. It's estimated to have cost around 60 million Jeez. per episode. Per and, episode. And highly anticipated series is yeah. set thousands of years before J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. And we'll take viewers back to an era in which great powers were forged. And there's a Silver Spring <laughs> native in it. She portrays a power woman in the series. Cynthia Aday Robinson is a Silver Spring native who plays Queen Regent Muriel. Cynthia, we are excited to have you here, and I know this is a exciting and crazy time for you with the Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power finally out. What has it been like kind of finally getting to share it with people? Uh, it's, you know, honestly, it's been a huge relief because <laughs> I, you know, we wrapped uh, filming. It's been over a year ago now. And so in that span of time, you know that you've just done something that is going to be so big, so epic, and you just mm. can't say anything. You can't say <laughs> to your family, to your friends. Um, you know, so there's been a lot of mystery around this project, and I know a lot of people have been waiting very patiently or impatiently, mm. as as it were. <laughs> and uh, I'm very happy and excited to finally get to talk a little bit about it. Now, this one is set. It's thousands of years before Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, right? Um, and you play a queen. What was it like portraying this world thousands of years before some of the, what we know the best? So it's interesting because we are basically set in the Second Age. And so a lot of people are more familiar with the events of the third age but what's great about what we're doing is that you know they're going to be aspects of the story and even some characters that will be familiar to viewers and familiar to to readers of tolkien and there are going to be a lot of new characters so i play queen regent midiel and she is the leader of the island kingdom of numenor and numenor essentially is tolkien's take on the legend of atlantis the entire series really is just cinematically stunning and mm, we've done imagine, a lot yeah. to to really create this this beautiful world so we're we're excited to share how much of a fan how invested were you in lord of the rings before this opportunity you know what's been really i think profound for me i was someone that you know when the films came out or even earlier than that when when you're in middle school or high school and you might be introduced to to some of the literature i think for me there was that sense of i don't know that there's anything here for me therefore i never considered going to the material but what excites me about getting to be part of this and having this material arrive at this time in my life is that this material then sort of speaks to me differently in your youth you are a Silver Spring native here. Yes, uh, you we graduated have to from Mon that. Montgomery <laughs> Blair High School, right? Uh, what's it like? Do you get back to the DMV ever? Gosh, I'm overdue for a visit. I think <laughs> the last time I was there it was definitely before the pandemic. So I I am overdue to come home. Um, and you know, it, it's interesting when I think back to my influences or things that shaped me, shaped my worldview. I think growing up in Silver Spring, uh, you know, going to a high school that was very multicultural, you know, just um, really gave me a sense of just how expansive the world can be and all the different people that you encounter, mm. different walks of life, different experiences. And it's something that I think has really shaped my view. And, and I proudly like to think that that's sort of you know, ingrained in me, mm. both just as a person, but also as a performer. So I, I try to do my best to to represent that when I'm out in the world. And, and um, yes. yeah, I look back <laughs> on that time fondly, for sure. Again, you can watch Cynthia in the Rings of Power this Friday, September 2nd. You can see why it costs so much. Those costumes yeah. are incredible. <laughs>